Good morning, friends. We are in 1 Corinthians 6 today. This is a, a powerful, a strong-worded chapter about being faithful managers of your body. Yes, the last two days I've told you, Paul's teaching the church that we are managers of our body, of our behaviors, and of our beliefs. We manage those three, and those will produce the results in our life that show whether we follow God or not. Today he's going to talk about our body. And he's talking to a church that lives in a city that is totally immersed in sexual immorality. They use their bodies as sacrificial offerings sexually to the gods. In fact, at the top of the Corinth, old Corinth, they had this, they had this main street that goes all the way up from the port down by the sea, all the way up to the top of the town was the temple of Zeus and the markets for the meat that was being sacrificed in that temple and the government buildings and all that right at the top. And then you look behind that city up the mountain and on the top of the mountain was a temple built there for everybody to see and they would make sexual sacrifices to the gods up there. And the church is being infected by that. Not that they're all acting out these behaviors, but they're they're accepting those behaviors in order to build relationships with the people. Paul says that is not who you are. In fact, he, verses 9 and 11 say this, Don't you know that unrighteous, the unrighteous will not inherit the kingdom of God? You can say all you want. You can have relationships with them. And that's great. But you cannot save them if they don't turn to God. And in verse 11, he reminds them, That's not for you. You were washed. You were you were sanctified, cleansed. You, you were justified, released from that sin bondage and that circumstance and that consequence. You were, you were done. All of that was done for you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ because he died on the cross for you. So why would you marry your body back to sexual sin? See, Paul even says sex, sexual sin is the one sin that ruins your body. It's a sin against your own body. And he's calling them to live holy and not be attracted to the sin. In fact, when we were in Corinth, we saw these all these little idols. They had uncovered so many of them, tons of them from all around the town. These little idols that people would put in their houses to, to heal their bodies from the sexual disease that was happening in the town. Paul is telling them, that you are a manager of your body. Be faithful with it, and God will bless you. In fact, sex is a blessing. It is a gift for a husband and wife to unite them and build intimacy and produce offspring. Use it for what it was designed for, and it will be a blessing. And friends, that's not just, the, that's not just true about sex. That's true about everything we use our body for. What we eat, how we treat it, how we, be, how we use our body needs to be something that honors God with it. Because you were bought. You were paid for. So glorify God with your body. God bless you in that. And we'll talk to you again tomorrow on another part of 1 Corinthians. See you then.